The Serengeti is a savanna that covers an area of about 30,000 square kilometers and extends from northern Tanzania, east of Lake Victoria, to southern Kenya. The Maasai term Azarenkit is the source of the word Serengeti, which means the endless country or endless plain in English. Large, grassy steppes in the south meet plains in the north that are slightly mountainous and lightly forested. While the middle grassland is almost entirely devoid of trees, in the southeast rises the volcanically active Ngorongoro Conservation Area, a World Heritage Site since 1979. Lower areas of the savanna reach a height of roughly 920 meters, while the highest mountains are about 1,850 meters above sea level. The yearly rainfall ranges from 300 to 1,000 millimeters. The Serengeti region contains the Serengeti National Park, one of the largest and best-known national parks in the world. It is also a component of the 23,051 square kilometers Biosphere Reserve and, at 14,763 square kilometers, roughly one-third the size of Switzerland. At 1,000 to 1,500 meters above sea level, the 2,200 square kilometers Maswa Wildlife Sanctuary is located southwest of the National Park. To the north of the corridor, the Gramiti Sanctuary has an area of between 2,000 to 3,000 km2. Additionally, the Serengeti is bordered by the 3,000 square kilometers Ikorongo Conservation Area. The Loliando Conservation Area is located between the Ngorongoro Conservation Area and the state border, whereas the Maasai Mara Reserve is home to the northernmost portion of the Serengeti ecosystem. After the colonization, big game hunters started to kill a lot of animals, greatly depleting the supplies. Eventually, in order to safeguard the savanna habitat and the local fauna, uncontrolled shooting of wild animals forced the creation of nature reserves. The region was still used as grazing land by the nomadic Maasai in the 19th century. The nature reserves severely limited the Maasai's independence in their own country, despite the fact that they were not to fault for the devastation of the environment. One of Africa's most intricate and little affected ecosystems, the Serengeti alternates between dry, arid summers and lush, verdant winters and springs. The savanna, which contains a few acacia trees, is the main subject. Wide open short grass plains and long grasslands covered in thorns can be found to the south and north, respectively. Along the river's gallery wall and in the hilly western corridor are vast forests and black clay pans. Short grasslands make up the majority of the vegetation in the broad, undulating plains. During prolonged droughts, the plains mostly turn into deserts and are vulnerable to wildfires, which the short grass can withstand. During the wet season, this serves as the migrating ungulate's primary habitat. Digitaria macroblephora, Sporobolus marginatus, and Sporobolus centrophilus are dominant species and signposts indicating overgrazed and salinized soils, respectively. It's possible that Ngorongoro is the source of the deadly and invasive Mexican prickly poppy, Argemon Mexicana. Sedges like Kalinga nervosa before grow in humid places. East of Icoma, there are vast acacia woodland savannas, as well as some gallery forests beside the rivers. Camifera africana, acacia drepanolobium, acacia gerardii, and desert date balanites egyptiaca are some of the lowland groves. Acacia lahai and acacia sale make up upland groves. There reside more than 1.6 million herbivores as well as thousands of predators. The population of Serengeti white-bearded wildebeest is a common mammal in this area. African buffalo, burlap zebra, Thompson and Grant's gazelle, and 1.5 million. Particularly well known for their lengthy migrations, the wildebeest, zebra, Thompson's gazelle, eland, and lyre antelope all follow the dry and wet seasons. Since the Pleistocene, they have made an annual migration through the entire Serengeti, traveling from north to south to the nearby Maasai Mara and back. Beginning in May and June, the herds move from the central plains to the western corridor and then northward, becoming more dispersed between July and November. They move between seasonal water sources and the grasslands. 
The presence of predators in the herds depends on the prey strategy. These include the lions, which can number up to 3,000 animals throughout the Serengeti, as well as spotted and striped hyenas, African golden wolves, striped jackals, and blackback jackals. In 1991, the final herds of African wild dogs vanished. Three packs were wiped out by a rabies outbreak, but there is no known cause for their total demise. There are numerous species of antelope in sizable herds. Eland, Lesser Kudu, Roan Antelope, Ridbuck, Grant's Gazelle, Red Heartbeast, Steenbok, Lyre Antelope, Bushiered Oryx, and the African Buffalo can all be found in the grasslands. Warthog, Bushbuck, Sitatunga, Crown Diker, Impala, and Kirk's Dick Dick can be seen in the groves. The swamps are where you can find Reedbuck and Waterbuck. Clip springers can be found in the mountains, along with giraffes, olive baboons, and mountain reedbuck. The African elephant, whose population was estimated to be 1357 in 1994 in the Serengeti National Park alone, had increased from 470 individuals in 1961 to 2470 in 1970 and 3008 in 1977 to 395 individuals in 1987 and 299 in 1989. Other notable larger mammals include the black rhino, which is critically endangered and has very few left, and the hippopotamus. Numerous species of bats, giant galagos, southern green monkeys, southern past monkeys, mantled monkeys, aardvarks, steppe pangles, and coffees are among the smaller animals. Aardwolves, small spotted genets, large spotted genets, African civets, servals, wild cats, African golden cats, bush pigs, three species of hyrax, numerous species of rodents, honey badgers, zorillas, seven species of mongoose, and small spotted genets and large spotted genets. The national park is home to a wide variety of bird species. The more than 500 bird species include 34 raptor species, 6 vulture species, and flocks of more than 20,000 waterfowl. African ostrich, thick-billed heron, marabou, lesser flamingo, African fish eagle, predatory eagle, lesser kestrel, South African crowned crane, and milk owl are among the species that can be found there. The Nile Crocodile, Nile Monitor, Leopard Tortoise, Northern Rock Python, African Spitting Cobra, and Puff Adder are among the reptiles. The enormous rocky outcrops known as copies are home to the territorial lizard species Agamamwanzi. The rights of the local inhabitants must be restricted in order to preserve the animal's environment. In the 1950s, the indigenous inhabitants of the park were evaluated and were no longer permitted to enter their territory. To make up for this, an effort was made to enhance the living circumstances of those who lived close to the park, but this just served to draw even more people to the area and put more strain on the park. Therefore, in recent years, conservationists have opted for a different approach. The villagers should assume control of portions of the protected property, also known as wildlife management areas, and take ownership of them as well. They have the potential to profit from tourism and are obligated to safeguard the areas in their own best interests. The outcome of this tactic is uncertain. A potential freeway route posed yet another danger to the park. The greatest terrestrial mammal migration in the world is believed to be disrupted by the road, which would upset the entire ecological equilibrium. The Tanzanian government caved after UNESCO threatened to revoke the park's designation as a World Heritage Site and is now scrapping the plan to build a motorway through it. Many international organizations endorse this alternate road design and call for a southern park bypass. Environmentalists don't believe the road was really avoided. The majority of the year, the Serengeti offers pleasant weather for safaris. The dry season, which lasts from June through October, is excellent. Thanks for watching.